fixing your hair, dear. That's right, I was fixing my hair, my hair alone. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. First off, I would like to wish my dear sister Connie a happy birthday. May she rest in peace. She would have been 51 years old today. I love you, Connie. Um, thoughts and prayers. Tanya Longley's aunt passed away this morning. Um, so everybody that sent thoughts and prayers yesterday, uh, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers again today. Gina Polinchek. Said it right. Uh, so glad that we gave you the giggles. Sorry we made your belly ache, but she really got a kick out of the refrigerator pee statement. <laughs> it's been peeing. It's random. It just goes when it feels like it. Kind of like your cat. <laughs> yes. The, re the refrigerator pee situation is fixed, but Bootsy pee situation is not fixed. I wish it was that easy. Got the hair dryer. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Terry Johnson uh, thought of something funny about uh, when she heard Kevin's bathroom prank. Um, she was at a barbecue one time and the doors were marked pointers and setters. I immediately thought of dogs, so I didn't know which restroom to use. I walked back to the table and I didn't know if I was a pointer or a setter. They were all laughing at me. They said, you're a setter. Believe, believe us, you're a setter. I, I still don't get it. What's a pointer and a setter? Isn't a dog that point is points? When you pee, do you point or do you sit? Depends. <laughs> he wears old. depends. <laughs> I'm getting old. I do a lot more sitting nowadays. See, he would have made the same mistake too or had the same question okay. too, Terry. It didn't say sitter. It said setter, right? Yes. So, okay. But being a woman, you definitely wouldn't be a pointer. All right, go on. <laughs> I think we beat this dog to death. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, so my question last night was, what was one of your most scariest moments? And some people really got... Some scary moments. Yeah. Melody Mainville, Mom's Blogs 80. She had two scariest moments. I was 19, got into a car accident, and almost killed herself. So glad you didn't. Then, my youngest son almost died due to cancer. So glad he is still with us, and he's our superhero, Elijah. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Okay, and then we have Jack Salmon. Myself, with five other guys, were the last to be picked up by helicopters in the jungle of Vietnam in 1969. But the bird never came for us. No radio to call the base. We had the Viet Cong trying to find us, and it was getting dark. Then finally someone remembered we had not been picked up yet. I thought I would never see another day of life. Wow, that's scary. Yeah. That, that, I would say, is pretty scary. I'm glad someone actually remembered that you guys were there. So, Tresemme won. Um, her second scariest thing that happened to her is her heart attack and having to go through a triple bypass last year. But she's doing much better now. And then Susie here... The scariest moment of my life was watching my father-in-law pass away in my husband's arms. He struggled with brain cancer for a long time, and I watched him take his last breath. So, that's not only scary, that, that's really just 
Sad. Yeah, very sad. So sorry, Susie. Okay, Dougie Style. He was in college at an off-campus party. And a guy he knew at the time threatened to shoot him over a girl. He was getting chummy with the girl. And the guy had hit on the girl earlier and she turned him down. And he didn't like that Doug was getting close with this girl. So, um, he snapped, threatened to kill him with his gun. Ne needless to say, the party stopped as we tried to talk him out of it. Eventually, he unsnapped and apologized to everyone, shook his hand uneasily, and the girl and him left the scene. They had a nice relationship for a couple of months after that, and then and they never saw the guy again. So he brought the gun to to the party. I don't know. That's what, not, Did he that's have the clear. gun with him? Because that would be scary. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one, um, proudest mama seventy seven. Okay. I'm just going to read her, her paragraph here. As for the scariest moment, there have been lots when I learned of a loved one's sickness or when they passed, etc. But as far as me personally, it's a toss-up between being rushed for an emergency C-section three and a half weeks early in 2005 with my daughter. Thankfully, all went well and, with her and myself. That's good to hear. And in 2007, when they found ovarian and uterine cancer, and I had to have a hysterectomy. I know how that feels. It's very heartbreaking. Thankfully, they got it all, and I've been in remission ever since. Because the doctor said, even with a hysterectomy, it can still return in other places. So, I'm glad it didn't return. I'm glad you're in full remission. Same here. And um, you do have two wonderful children. So that is that is a big plus um, that came out of that whole thing. Okay, so what was one of your scariest? Well, I would say Dougie Style actually reminded me of something that happened when I was in college. Uh, I was working um, the night shift at a pharmacy and um, right across the street from a hospital. And somebody came in, and I was actually sitting at the front desk on the phone because it was slow, and I was talking with a girlfriend. Not me. And some guy comes in, and some guy comes in, and so I put the girl on hold. I said, I got a customer, put it down. And the guy pulls a shotgun out of his uh, uh, jacket, sticks it in my face, and says he wants all of our class one drugs. So, and the pharmacist behind the, uh, the, it had, you know, the tall pharmacy thing back, you don't see them much anymore. But he was a real short guy, and he couldn't see over the, the counter. And so, uh, I forget his name, I says, uh, if George, uh, what, what do we have as far as class one drugs? He says, well, why are you asking? He comes around, he says, oh, okay, and he turns around. <laughs> so, uh, there is a, um, um, I'm getting cash out of the register. He wanted cash out of the register, and of course we had a one of those things that if you pull the bill out, it 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 triggers a silent alarm, and of course um, the police didn't show up until the guy was long gone, and uh, so uh, I remember the, uh, probably the scarier part because the the guy was in and out for the drugs. He left a big black ring on my pants because he had he was sticking the shotgun in my butt cheek the whole time. And I was wearing white pants at the time. It was very cool back in the 80s. <laughs> but, um, you know, the scariest part is when after he left and I just was taking the trash out because the police didn't show up and the police finally show up and I'm sitting there with a couple of bags and they tackle me to the ground. And <laughs> they thought it was you. <laughs> so. That's the police story. <laughs> 
Um, I would have to say my scariest moment. There's been a few, but my scariest one is a toss-up between getting the phone call that my father had his heart attack and was in the hospital or that getting the phone call that I needed to get to New York because my sister wasn't going to survive. Um, those were both before I knew Kevin. So, And my dad, healthy as a horse. I mean, I'll tell you. That, that, that guy's going to live forever. So, but getting on the plane and getting off the plane and seeing my sister that was, I had two sisters, seeing my sister that picked me up at the airport and knowing what I was there for, very difficult. And today would have been her 51st birthday. So, again, happy birthday, Connie. I love you. <laughs> Okay, my question for today is, what's one fashion trend you hope never comes back and why? Maybe white pants <laughs> for men. I think they were, they were sort of, you know, they were unbleached, unbleached cotton, so they were kind of off-white. Remember those, man? Had a drawstring. It's cool. They were Miami cool. Vice. I had that whole outfit. <laughs> I was rolling up my jacket sleeves. I had that outfit. Shut up. It's time. That was cool back then. I, I still be wearing that. It's time. I can't say it. Just do it. God. <laughs> it's time for new community shout out. Our credit roll. She got it wrong anyway. <laughs> All right, last night's question was about a really bad movie called Nothing But Trouble. Even the, the poster for the movie was awful. Did you ever see the poster? I've never even heard of the movie. Well, yeah, you would recognize the poster. It has Demi Moore, Chevy Chase, and uh, Dan Aykroyd on the cover. And Demi Moore looks like she has crossed eyes. Whoever did the art was really awful. So, um, okay, and the question was a simple one. Where did the idea come from? It was all something that Dan Aykroyd had uh, uh, thought up. Apparently he was uh, arrested in some backwater state and uh, in the middle of the night and he was arrested and taken to the judge in the middle of the night to pass sentence and the whole thing just seemed so shady and crazy. It was a small town and uh, he managed to live through it. He, they probably soaked him for a lot of money since he was a celebrity and so he figured that's the basis of a good movie. And uh, the other part of that is he kept picturing John Candy in drag, and he thought that was hilarious, so he felt he had to make a movie that had John Candy in drag. And uh, the ones who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Van Diaz. Woo mm -hmm. And another easy one tonight, since I really stuck to you all the other day. Um, I didn't even write it down. I was going to say, your page is empty. It is. <laughs> Uh, scary movie, the the uh, Wayne Brothers um, um, spoof of a spoof. It's a movie with spoofing and scream. The simple question: What was the name of the high school they were supposed to be attending? Ta-da! Ta-da! The cat is doing his thing. Yes. You are. Or there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. Excuse me. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all very much. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.